Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Batwoman Season 2. It's, uh, well, it's like the, the weird reboot thing they're doing. Even though, is it a reboot? It's like, not really. So, of course, Batwoman is doing this weird, well, not weird thing, but it's, it's doing the biggest change we're probably seeing from any show heading from its first season, heading into its second season, outside of, like, anthology shows. So, uh, it's, it's changing it up. Obviously, Ru Ruby Rose, who played Kate Kane in season one, left the show for, there's different reasons as to why, like, Kate, the character, left the show and Ruby, the, the actress, left the show as well. But the show was not cancelled or anything like that. It's continuing on with a new lead character taking up the Batwoman mantle. And that's a completely new character called Ryan Walder. Now, Javicia Leslie was cast in the role. And they actually, just a fun fact before we get into the first looks and stuff like that. Ryan Walder will actually be introduced in the comics, in the Batgirl comics, before she's actually introduced on the show. So, I think she's introduced in the comics in the next month or something like that. And uh, obviously then Batwoman Season 2 will premiere in January. So... Um, they're obviously looking forward or looking t to this character, um, to be something in the future. So not just the thing that's on TV, they're looking for it to, or for her to be a character in the comics going forward. It'd be interesting to see how they use her, but yeah. Now, obviously we had seen a couple of set photos of Javicia Leslie in the old Batwoman suit. So the one from season one, Kate's Batwoman suit. And the whole story around this seems that she finds the bat suit, she starts wearing it, and that's how, you know, the other people on the show of Batwoman find her because they're wondering where it is. And that's how she gets brought into things. So it seems that's the storyline from the looks of it. Um, but it was always said that she was going to get her own bat suit and it was going to be uniquely hers, and it was going to look, you know, still that Batwoman style, but look distinctly for Javicia Leslie's Ryan Walder. It wasn't going to be, you know, just her wearing cake suit for the entire season. And today we got our first look at it. Now, one of the photos is a bit weird. I think I know why they did it, but we'll look at the, the good one first. Look at the, we'll look the, the best one. We'll look at the best one. So this is the good one. Uh, well, my favorite of the two right here this is her like in the nighttime with like the, the red background, like the, in the, you know, the red moon, if you want to call it. And the suit looks really good. It looks like it's, um, you know, cause the, the season one Batwoman suit had like, it was like the material that it looked like the flash suit was made from and like the Supergirl suit, like the new Supergirl suit and stuff like that. Like that type of material. This one looks different. This one looks like it's, it looks like it's almost armored. Like it seems like it's still like a like a, that, that type of material with a bit of like hard plastic on there, but it does look like it's armored. And honestly, if I'm going to be completely honest. It does look movie quality. I think this is actually a really movie quality suit. Um, I think she's using the same, uh, cowl and like face, you know, thing, um, that she uses on the other one, I think just because it'd be, it'd suit her face. So I guess you'd use it. Um, but obviously the body's completely different. The gauntlets look awesome. I think the gauntlets look really cool. Like the, with the red and stuff like that. Um, just from first impressions, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, but, and obviously the, the, I think the cape is pretty much the same. Now they had actually, there actually had been a, um, them filming a scene. I think it was about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago with her in this look. And we we're pretty much waiting for them to officially release this because this, this look had been seen on set. The, the thing that was an advantage to them is it had actually been a look from a distance away, like a good distance away. You couldn't really make any, any details out really from that distance. You couldn't even really tell if it was a new suit or not. You could just tell about one thing and that's her hair. Now, um, her hair has been like one thing that's been a debate as to what, whether, what they're going to do. Like, are they going to have her wear a red wig? Is she, or is it like a red wig of different things? Cause like the red wig is sort of synonymous with the Batwoman character cause it's meant to throw you off. But because obviously it's a black woman in, um, as the new Batwoman, they did say they're going to do something different and something unique. Um, I guess for a black woman, I think that's, I'm, I'm, I'm like paraphrasing there, but it was something along those lines. So everyone was like, okay, what are they going to do here? And I think this is actually pretty smart what they've done. So you might be wondering if you've seen any, like just photos of JVC Leslie, she actually does sort of rock a similar hairstyle to this. You might be wondering, okay, okay. It's like, she's just going to rock the same hairstyle when she's both Ryan Wilder and Batwoman. And no, we've seen the set photos of her just as Ryan Wilder and she has just like a sort of like straight or like, like ponytailed hair. So her hair's down. It's not out like it is as Batwoman. So this is her disguise. Her disguise as Batwoman is her hair out like this. And when she's Ryan Wilder, it seems that her hair is like tied down or just straightened one of the two. Now, obviously there's going to be a debate. It was like, well, hold on. If she rocks her real hair when she's Batwoman, is it a lot of prep time? It's a comic book show. I mean, do we all remember um, 
was it Mr. Terrific on Arrow when he put the cornrows and stuff? Every single time he went out as, uh, as Mr. Terrific, uh, that was a lot of time. So I don't think this is like too unbelievable seeing it's a comic book show and we've seen it before in other things. Now, the one cool thing is that and I think we've, we'll actually go to the next photo because it makes it much clearer. And I think this is why they did the second photo. So this is the second photo. I think this, one, this one's a bit weird because it's just in the sunlight. <laughs> I don't know, I just find it a bit weird. But I think the reason they did it is so you can see like the red highlights in her hair. Um, and maybe to show off the colors, more like the cape and stuff. Because in the first photo, you can see red down the bottom of the cape, but it's not standing out. But here, you can actually full on, fully see the, the red on the cape. And looking at this, is actually is a different cape um, than the one that Kate wore in her suit. Um, which makes sense because I guess the cape has to fit this, but also you can see like the the shining and it's sort of, like it allows certain things on the suit to li uh, on the suit to like highlight if you want to call it and shimmer. Like you can see like the certain things on like the, the shoulders and even over the chest armor and stuff like that, which I think is pretty cool. I think this is actually a really awesome suit. As I said before, I think it is like movie quality, and I'm excited to see how it moves in live action and everything like that. I wouldn't be surprised me too much if the studio that made the Kingdom Come suit for Superman. Um, in Crisis made this suit because they also made the Martian Manhunter suit on the new one on Supergirl and I think they're making the new suit for Superman and Lois as well so they've made a couple of different suits uh, for the CW already so it wouldn't surprise me you know, like too much or in the least um, or in the slightest if um, they made this suit as well I'm sure that would come out eventually if they did but yeah, I think this light photo is just to sort of show off the colors because really how often are you going to see the Batwoman suit in daylight? Never and you're probably not going to see it in um, too many bright lights either. So I think it's probably a good photo, even though it seems a bit odd when you first look at it. It's like, well, why are they doing this? I think it's to really highlight the colors, both in her hair and just on the suit as well. But you can see those little red streaks in the hair. I think it's just like a, a nod to it all, um, which raises the question is like, is this her real hair anyway? When she's Batwoman as well, if it does have the red streaks in there, once again, it's a comic book show. You just got to suspend disbelief with certain things in regards to whether it makes sense time-wise. Um, but yeah, I think this would most likely be her real hair, um, which is also a good thing because it's like a distraction. It's like out in the sides and everything like that. Probably draw people away from any like detailings on her face. Um, so it's, once again, it's like, it's it's a different take on why Batwoman in the comics, like Kate Kane uses the red wig. Um, so I think that's actually pretty smart. But yeah, as I said, there'd been like um, set photos and there'd been set activity where she was wearing the suit, but it was from a distance. And in that set, um, or that, that film, if you want to call it, they also had the new Batmobile. Now, we had seen a thing that they were calling the Batmobile, I think from like episode one or two filming, but it had like all like the, the motion capture markers and stuff on it. It wasn't like, it, it, if you walked past it, you wouldn't think it was a Batmobile. However, we got set photos, which clearly say like, hey... This is a Batmobile, and I'll show it to you right now. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it. And I think this is a Corvette. I think that's what people were saying. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's an American car, so I don't know. But um, as you can see, it's got all the, the red detailings or the red, de red decals and stuff like that. And of course, it has the red Batwoman or the red, just the red Bat logo on the front, which uh, I think this was, this was a, you either really liked it or you just didn't really care for it too much. I think it's cool. The only thing I don't really love too much is probably the red bat in the front. It's like, hey, it's not super inconspicuous as in regards to what it is. Um, but it, like Batmobiles in general aren't meant to be like too, um, you know, underlying. They're not meant to be too vague. Like it's pretty obvious it's a Batmobile and they stand out. Now I think under the car as well, it has like lights as well. So I'm assuming when it drives, it glows red underneath. Um, but there's no... Uh, this is like the photo I wanted to use because I think it's the best detailed one. Um, but yeah, like it sort of like glows red underneath when it's driving. So that's fairly interesting. But one thing I forgot to also mention is like the, the bat on uh, Javicia. Um, they're going for a very um, standout bat, if you want to call it. It seems like it's more red compared to the Kate Kane one. It seems like the red in general on this suit just pops out more, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, as I said, it's going to be interesting to see how it looks in action, moving and stuff like that. But based off this, I think they've nailed it first go. So I'm looking forward to seeing um, how it maybe develops throughout season one, if there's any changes and stuff like that, as we know that Batwoman season one did because of certain issues, but maybe they spent more time on this one and it won't require that. Now also, because they released this, we probably should expect some Superman um, photos similar to this with him in the new suit, whether it is in the next week or something, or tomorrow, who knows when it will be, but it wouldn't surprise me too much if we get a Superman thing as well, so keep your eyes out for that. 
But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your first opinions on this. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What would you give it out of 10? That's probably the best thing. What would you give it out of 10? Um, yeah, let me know all that in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.